Ida binti Muhammad Shukri and you can call me Madam Ida. Yeah? Alright, uh, before we start, I would like all of you to stand up. Okay? Please put all your stuff aside and please stand up and show to me your sweetest smile today. I want to see your smiles. Okay? I know it's, it's um, yeah, we finish our final exam and then uh, we have to come here early in the morning, right? But however, we have friends, it's okay. All of us need to go here, alright, never mind. So we'll just meet our way to this auditorium. Yeah, I can feel your feelings, okay? I feel you, don't worry. Alright, but uh, I'm here today just to help you, okay? To inform you that this platform is very, very good for you. Because I believe all of you, some of you were my students in my class, right? My students during our ENGF 103, okay? Some of you also took CLSF with me as well, yeah? And these are the things that we have been doing during our foundation, okay? How many of you have spoken in front of public? Okay, deliver your public speaking. Come on, show me hands, please. Public speakers, debaters. Come on. Okay, about 30% of the groups were public speakers or debaters or, you know, presenters. Okay, so please stand up and I want you to lose yourself. Okay, it's very cool, I know. Okay, um, all right. Uh, just get your place. All right, now we would like to slowly indulge in this particular training. Okay, how do we indulge ourselves in a certain totally new situation, right? Just now it was uh, pretty casual okay, from uh, Mr. Budin. Okay, I. I really like when you ask a lot of questions now because I know that all of you had a lot of experience conducting a variety of projects. Am I right? PPES today? Right? PPES? Who are PPES and PPC? Come on, all of you are. Please give yourself a big round of applause. You are all excellent students, okay? You are all excellent students. Okay, but not just during our school time. Those good old days only. Okay? Not during our foundation year only. That you have shown your potential to me in my class. I know my students. I know that you have a very, very, very high potential in this life. Okay? So this is the time for you to revisit the skills that you have, the diamond in you. You lead. This is about time for you to lead. Right? So, before we, you know, go through into, you know, deeper and deeper, I want you to take a Deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Close your eyes. Please close your eyes. You're not going to be sleeping because you are standing. But some people are sleepwalkers. I understand that. Okay. Close your eyes now. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Put yourself in a learner's shoe. Always have half empty glass attitude. If we have half full glass attitude, you won't be able to take much more knowledge if you are attending any workshops or trainings. Always be a learner. 
a student forever. So this is ULEAD Academy. We are here to generate more leaders. We are here to instill a lot of leadership skills, more effective leadership skills in each and every one. It's not just merely training, it is an academy. Because when academy, when you become a leader, you are going to produce another leader. Just remember that. You are the project leaders and you are put trust on the other people to become leaders as well. You know? So, this is the precious things that you have to learn in this particular academy. Trust each other. You are not conducting a project alone, remember. And now, I love to relate. Okay? Our leadership skills through the analogy of all, you know, forever favorite movie, which is Avengers. I mean, who doesn't like Avengers? You may open your eyes now slowly. Alright. And you can sit down and sit back. Relax. And enjoy the show. Okay. So please look at this short clip. Look at it. And enjoy it, of course. Always we enjoy Avengers videos. And tell me what movie is this. Yeah? Okay. Start with the jacket. And then press at the arc reactor. And then the nanotechnology transform this Tony Stark bodies into the full armor of Iron Man suit. And you see the power that he has intensified and uh, have a lot of gadgets inside that particular armor. I love, I love all of this technology. And I want this technology to be equipped in each and every one of you. Okay? So you see, it is with you. It is not something else that you have to hold, just like in Iron Man movie, you know, like long, long time ago, what mark, I cannot remember. It is implanted inside you now. Same thing goes to soft skills. Soft skills are there inside each and every one of us actually. But you don't know. You didn't realize it. Until someone pointed out and bring it out. Bring out the best in you. So when you start having a switch, or we call it an anchor, anchor in each of you, in all individuals here in this room, you can start transforming in no time. You know, when people ask you to talk in front here, when you have like thousand and one problems outside, and when you have thousand and one things that you have to think about, you are not ready, and you don't know what to talk, and you don't know what to say, how on earth are we going to transform ourselves within seconds? This is the power of anchoring technique. You can create your own anchor. You have to understand what is your superpower. That is the most important. Okay, so today, one superpower that we are going to develop today is pitching technique, which is under communication skills, which is under public speaking skills. Public speaking will take longer time, about, you know, 20 minutes, but pitch is only 3 minutes or 5 minutes. You have to be smart. Okay, you have to be smart in comprising all the information and persuade your audience to buy your idea. So this academy will teach you on how to deliver elevator pitch. 
you can Google more ways how this particular term elevator pitch be coined. When we press the button in the leaf, it's between three to four seconds that we will arrive to our destination. And that particular moment is the crucial moment when you meet a very important person and you want to talk, you want to share, you want to pitch about how good you are. That's the only thing. That is the only moment that you are going to persuade and influence them to show that who you are actually the best student in Unit 10. It's the first impression and the first time how you open your mouth to other people and portray yourself. Okay. So objectives of today's training is to of course boost our self-confidence. Yeah? Express the content expressively and comprehensively. The content of, you know, the pitch deck that Dr. Hassan has shared with you right in the email. All of the information, you have to present it comprehensively. And of course, not just informative, you know, um, things that you want to share, but of course, it has to be attractive as well. It has to be in a persuasive as well through the practice of intelligent gestures. All right, next. We are just human beings and we are, you know, like so anxious about so many things. And we are so scared when we are asked to talk in front of the public. Am I right? Do you agree with me? Do you like public speaking? Do you like public speaking? No. Yes. It's the biggest fear of all of us. So next, how do we manage our anxiety? Number one, we have to acknowledge it. It's normal. Okay, greet your anxiety. You know, when you start to feel that your palms are very, very cold, shaky, and shivering, that is normal. Tell yourself, oh my God, I am nervous. Acknowledge it. All right? And next thing that you need to do is to reframe the situation that no one is right way. There is no one right way of a presentation. All of us are very, very unique. Each and every one, all presenters have their own different characteristics, different presentation style. So you don't have to think that, oh my God, I cannot present like him, I cannot present like her. Use your own identity, your own best characteristic to present whatever you want to deliver to your audience. And as a conversation, when you talk to your audience, you are not like just reading, you are not just like, um, you know, being like having thought that this is my performance, so I have to, you know, do my best, and you start to feel rigid. And you know, so look at it as if when you are talking to your friends, talking to other people in a normal and less stressful situation. So you feel better. Use conversational tone. All right? Try to control the situation. And of course, your nervousness. Try to control it. And. All presenters, especially today, because today is the uh, pitching session, you have to, you know, know what are the objectives of your presentation. This is basic. Know your objective. What I want my audience to believe. Yeah? How do I want them to feel? And what I want them to do specifically. You know, to do specifically. So, you see, the information is number one. The information that you have to tell them should be clear. And then, the emotion part that you need to also touch in your audience so that they will be influenced by what you are talking about. And if you want them to change, please, you can also tell them to do this and to do that. 
So what do you want your audience to, to get actually? Let's be very, very clear, yeah? presenters. Okay, so the three minute challenge begins now. All right, I believe that all of you have prepared your presentation slides already, all right? And this is the theory that will, you know, like structure your presentation or your pitch today. Okay, so it's just three minutes. All right, so you have to start with a wow. If you want to start anything, make sure you are able to wow your audience. Okay, a strong opening that can break their thinking patterns and capture them immediately. How do we do that? Start with a wow. Good choice and good formulation of words are very important to start as your first line. Okay? I provide some, some tools here. If you can see, you can ask questions. Rhetorical question that you didn't expect your audience to answer. All right? You just want to trigger the thinking patterns and prepare them for what you're going to inform them later on. If any of you are going to implement or conduct a program related to, you know, environmental campaign or recycling campaign, what you can, you can relate is, of course, about our Mother Earth, about something that we share in common. What is that? The planet Earth. Because there is no planet B. Alright? So, startling statement. You can also start with a very, very shocking information about something, controversial issues, that will... Wow! What's happening? What's going on? How? I didn't know about this. So, you started to, you know, going into the mindset. This is how you are controlling your audience program. Next, you can also put forward the theory. Okay, uh, can we uh, go back? Okay, you can put forward the theories or demonstration to engage the audience. All right. Okay, for today's presentation, example, how are you going to start with a wow? Is you can relate your opening with the motivation and also the problem statement. So that is, you know, the first or the, the opening that you can use because we only have three minutes, not five. Okay, so we cut short. Our intro is our problem statement. Our intro or opening is our motivation, our team has been moved to conduct this project because of blah, 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 blah. Alright? So, you actually introducing who are going to conduct this particular project, we put trust on our team members because panels, the investors, they want to know what kind of team that will be, you know, conducting this kind of pro project. Can we trust you in conducting this kind of project? So, you are putting trust and promoting this team at the same time while introducing the motivation that moved you to conduct that program. If you have problem statement, give, you know, a very serious issues that you have discovered and you're gonna find, you're gonna give the solution as your, your pro, uh, project. Okay, so moving on, all right, moving on to the next step is you have to preview your ideas. This is when you have to tell your audience that these are the things that we are going to, to cover today. For example, within these three minutes, all of the beloved audience will discover X, Y, Z. Within this three minutes, bear with us for three minutes, you will understand our vision and our mission to conduct this project. Ladies and gentlemen, let us start with the first, you know, information, blah, 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 example, yeah? Okay, next. Okay, the third one, elaborate your content, of course. Okay, elaborate your content. Okay, I believe that uh, Dr. Hassan, okay, has already 
um, share with you all of the information that you have to include in your proposal, right? Okay, like the first one is motivation, problem statement. After that is the target, uh, the target audience, and then how you are going to conduct your promotion and publicity. Yeah, and your budget, and also your sponsors, collaborators, and stuff like that. So these are the things that you have to share with the panels. Okay, moving on to the next ending. You see, three minutes. You are going to end it so soon. It's just like a blink of an eye. Oh, finish already my session, our group. So make sure you use these three minutes to really capture your, your charges. All right? And leave the audience in a high note and emotionally appealing. So make sure that they are still have this high spirit. Okay? And they really think that, oh my God, this project is going to be so big and awesome. Okay, Unitanian has have never done this before. So this high note, tools, you can call for action. So I hope, ladies and gentlemen, from now on, we have to start, okay, doing random acts of kindness. No matter who we are, no matter what we are, where we are, because it's not them, it's not who they are, it's because who we are. All right. So the values that you can touch your audience, your judges, is the most important. So touch the emotion through these kind of words. You can summarize all your points as well, and you can give some inspiration. You know, like famous saying, quotes. You can end. You know, your closure using all of these tools, as well as rhetorical questions that leave them hanging and thinking. If we don't take care of our mother nature, who else? You see, emotion, thinking, you tackle it together. So this is the, the persuasive, yeah, the persuasion that you have to use it during your pitch after this. Don't worry, we're giving two hours for you to practice, yeah, in group. And your facilitators are already, you know, be stationed at your uh, place. So please go and uh, practice with them. Okay, moving on to the next slide. All right, when we are giving a show, not just a very informative or effective show, but an attractive one. Okay, how do we practice our intelligent gestures? Is through this. Okay, hand gestures that you should be doing. Number one, listing. When any time you say a number, do the corresponding gesture. Okay, number one, ladies and gentlemen, number two, number three. Yeah, so make sure you do this. So automatically, when you have numbers, you remember that you must do this corresponding gesture. One, two, three. At least, rather than, okay, uh, number one, uh, we would like to do this. Number two, you see, it's good, it's nice, but no animation. All right, we want some animation on stage. Like when you are, you know, play games and all that. Some movement, all right? Be animated. Moving on. A tiny bit. Our favorite activity hand gestures. Um, so far, very tiny emphasis on this particular issues. In Chindikia 1, for example. For example, yeah, okay. No hard feeling, yeah? Chindikia 1, okay. Next. Everything, okay. When the word everything, it, it, it's as if you are sweeping across all of the ideas to be inclusive. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Everything that we have done all this while will be meaningless if we don't give credits to the people who are helping us out. Everything. So the corresponding hands, yeah, just, just moving on. Small, medium, large, small, medium, medium, large. To literally, okay, show someone what level something is. All right, moving on. Just a part, okay, everyone try to do this. <laughs> okay, just a part. It's very rare for us to do this kind of gestures, 
But to demonstrate a very specific part of an idea, what is this? Yeah, we have a lot of projects, but this part of project is very, very crucial that we have to focus for the time being. Okay? Next. When you are referring to audience and yourself, you cannot say audience, 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 audience cannot be like that. Okay? Or like this, yeah? So it's like this. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen. All of you, okay, so remember, and even for you, even for ourselves, you look at this yeah, image, show it to ourself. So, all of the hands, yeah. Okay, the palms down position shows power and dominance. It's not very positive, all right, but it's commanding. When we want to Ask everyone in the room to listen to us. And it is very, very important. You believe, you and your team believe that it's so crucial that all of you guys listen. So you put your palms down and everyone will listen to you. The gestures, yeah? The power of body language. You don't have to tell, you just do it. Because actions speak louder than words. Next, making a comparison, you separate. Right hand for A and left hand for B. And you start making compare reason. Alright, moving on. So this is normally for politicians, okay? When we are trying, even for leaders, I believe all leaders, all of your good leaders, you want all, all of your fellow members to listen and to be comfortable in our, uh, perhaps, program or projects to come together. So to simply show how two forces coming together. All right, everyone, please. We have to do this together. You will be liked by your subordinates. Okay. And last but not least, I want you to have your own I've got my stuff together style. So everyone, please stand up. I want to see each and every one. How are you going to stand here to present your your peach maybe after this and how are you going to stand in i got my stuff position i want to see that you must have your own signature okay look professional you look collected and relax okay how are you going to bring yourself show me leaders show me okay is it just like this Bonko. They are slouching. It's not very, very positive. Gestures and postures. Okay, show me. Square shoulder, please. Square shoulder. Okay? Look up. Visual. Look up. You have to look up a bit. Show that you are bold and you are ready to present. Okay. Very good. Wow, ada camera tak? Ada cameraman tak? Boleh ambil gambar tak? Wow. Hebatnya. Okay, I really like their... their I've got my stuff together kind of style. Okay, hashtag yeah. Okay, um, kita tak ada cameraman. Okay, tapi tak apa. Later on, during pitch, make sure. Make sure you are selected. But not are going to be selected, you know. But make sure you, you, you are going to be presenting on this stage after this. This afternoon. Okay, kita ada cameraman. Thank you so much. Mr. Cameraman, okay, now please show your style. Okay, this is very important. All right, look, yeah, face, need to be confident. Okay, there is any kita ambil satu group ni. All right, so show, show yourself that you are so collected, you're so ready. Yeah. Okay, young man, get ready. Okay. In your position. Okay, face. Oh, very good. Nice. Okay, one more time. One more time. Okay, nice one. Alright, good job. Okay, freestyle. <laughs> okay, dah nalang kan? <laughs> Gitu. Okay, this section. Alright, be in your position. Alright? Nice. Good. Pre 
Crystal. Okay. This section. All right. Okay. Come on, guys. Show it off. Bring it on. Okay. Ready? Your style. Be in style. Crystal. Okay. Thank you so much.